A parallel circuit is a circuit with more than one load, where each load has its own path for current flow. The individual paths of a parallel circuit are called branches. The shared power and ground sections of the circuit are called the main trunks. Unlike series circuits, parallel circuits should have each load on the parallel branches. The voltage drop across each parallel branch should be the same. Unwanted resistance in the main trunk power or ground circuits will affect all branches. Just like a series or simple circuit, near zero volts should be present after each parallel load. A voltage drop of about 0.2 volts or more on the ground side is usually a sign of unwanted resistance. Unlike a series circuit, current in a parallel circuit is not the same throughout the entire circuit. The branches and main trunk have different amounts of current flow. Current in each branch is determined by the load in the branch. Current in the main trunk is equal to the sum of the current flowing through all of the branches. Current in the main trunk is called total circuit current. Since current is the same in each section of a branch, it can be measured on either side of the load. The same goes for the main trunks. Current is the same on the power and ground sides of the shared portions of the circuit. The current produced by the DMM flows through one path that passes through all the resistors, so the total circuit resistance is equal to the total of all of the resistors added together. The resistance measured in a parallel circuit is different because there are multiple paths for current to flow. This is why total circuit resistance is always less than any parallel branch. We sometimes call the smallest resistor in a parallel circuit the dominant resistor. This is because in a parallel circuit the small resistor has a greater effect on total circuit resistance than a large resistor does. For example, adding a 10,000 ohm resistor in parallel to a circuit with a resistance of 100 ohms only decreases the total circuit resistance by about 1 ohm. However, adding a 10-ohm resistor in parallel to the same 100-ohm circuit has a greater effect. The total circuit resistance changes by over 90 ohms. Therefore, in parallel circuits, the smaller the resistor, the greater the impact on total circuit resistance. Calculating total circuit resistance of parallel circuits is easy when the resistance of each branch is the same. Simply divide the resistance of each branch by the number of branches in the circuit. In this first example, we have a circuit with two parallel 12,000 ohm resistors or branches. Dividing 12,000 by 2 gives us the total circuit resistance of 6,000 ohms. In this example, the total load is three parallel 12,000 ohm resistors. Again, since the loads are the same, we divide the value of each load, which is 12,000 ohms, by the number of loads, which is three, to calculate the total circuit resistance. In this case, the result is 4,000 ohms. This example shows four parallel 12,000 ohm resistors. Using the process from the previous examples, the calculated total circuit resistance is 3,000 ohms. 
Calculating the total circuit resistance when the resistance values are different requires a bit more math. 